dare to play. Hola, mis conejitos. Como estas, mi amor, Alicia? Hello, my bunnies. How are you? My name is Allison, and today we're playing Nancy Drew, Shadow of the Water's Edge. Ah, yeah. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. I believe. <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> we were about to experience the train station. Before I talk, uh, before we get on with the game, though, I do want to bring up uh, that I could not help but rewatch the playthrough of Day 9 TV. Day 9 TV has this thing called Mostly Walking. He and his two friends uh, get together once a week. They've been doing this for three years now, I think. Yeah, three years, I think, because last year was their two year anniversary. I don't remember. I'd have to check that matchmaking game because they played that for their anniversary. But uh, they get together once a week and they do they drink alcoholic beverages and play like a random game. They either play the random game random game to its fullest to the to the end of it, or they just play a little bit until they can't make sense of it. And so uh, someone managed to get Day Nine TV otherwise known as Sean Plot. You guys might actually recognize him from Geek and Sundry's channel. Uh, he does magic, I believe the game is called. It's actually really interesting because like you get to experience watching Day 9's playthrough of Shadow of the Water's Edge. Like you get to experience what it's like for someone who doesn't play point and click adventure games, especially when it's not a Nancy Drew game. And they were just saying how out of place everything is like all this the sudden way nancy says goodbye in the conversations uh the way the bus system is the train system is set up it's just re really interesting to see that and the one thing that always bugged me in the entire playthrough is that <laughs> they never picked up a particular piece of paper that could have helped them in a later puzzle which Day 9 ends up like <laughs> brute forcing it and normally you're not supposed to brute force in the Nancy Drew games even though I have kind of done that <laughs> okay so we want to get to Iga so let's go to Aimori here we go um where do we go from here because we want to get to Iga yeah, that helps. Okay, so I'm going to go to Ube, and then I'm going to go to Sakai, then Miyazaki. Miyazaki, wait a second. Isn't that the last name of a certain Japanese creator? Okay, so I said Ube. Alright, and then after that... What was the name again? I've already forgotten. Jeez. Aisa? Uh, no, Sakai. Go. So, if I know this map looks really confusing, so let me explain something a little before I continue on. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go to Miyazaki. So here's how you do transfers. So normally you're on the blue routes, and see how there's like a purple circle around this one here? That means that's a transfer. You can then go anywhere that's on this purple line. But I went to Ayamori because there's a yellow circle around that. That leads me down to here and I can take any bus stop I want. But this one, this has like an, a light tan sh uh, circle around it. That will help me go up to here. And then I go down to here where there's another... Because like I think on Sakai there's a light brown ring around it. That'll take me to Miyazaki. And I am going to skip this circle because we don't want to be on the gray. We want to stick with the light brown. That way when we get to Kobe, we get to Iga. Where it has not just a light blue circle. I don't know where that one leads to. I think it's this blue route here. But it also has a brown circle as well as a light brown circle. So this has like three stops. There's... Because like the, the three stops is this route right here. Then the other one is this route right here, and then the brown one goes to Matsu, which is the location that we're trying to get to. 
And let's go ahead and go down to Miyazaki and I believe it was Kobe? Yeah. Alright, and next stop is Iga. <laughs> Still gonna make me laugh every time I see Miyazaki. I swear that's a real person. Alright, and then we go do Matsu. Yeah! Alright, and now that we've got to Matsu, we can go to Mis Misawa anytime we want, which is where we are staying. Oh, and look, there's a piece of paper. One that Day9 never looked important. at. I better hang on to it. Yeah, it does look important. So, congratulations on purchasing your new Japanese puzzle box. Puzzle boxes have been bewildering buyers since the late Edo period over 100 years ago. These beautiful crafted boxes are both a joy to look at and a challenge to solve traditional requ traditionally requiring 4 to 66 moves before the lid can be removed. To open, pieces of the box are slid in a specific sequence, unlocking hidden catches after correct moves. Once the sequence is complete, the lid will open, revealing the hidden compartment within. Uh, solving instructions, uh, this puzzle box has sli sliding sections along the side only. Along the side only. Pieces may or may not be movable depending on which hidden caches are still locked. It takes six moves to open the lid. Ah! To start the sequence, move the entire panel down. Oh, okay. I guess I never fully read the instructions because I don't remember that. <laughs> but anyways, so what's frustrating with Day9 is that when they first started this, the game, they chose Senior Detective, even though they've never played a Nancy Drew game before. In all honesty, they shouldn't have done that. Greet. <laughs> when day nine was pressing these buttons during the stream like people in the in the chat were constantly saying that their cats were so confused because of all the cat noises they could hear from the stream i guess they weren't wearing headphones <laughs> oh boy okay virtual nero Life, like, movement, real cat noises, programmable commands, teach your cat to sit, stay, guard, meow, and groom, and more. Allergy free. No shedding. Ah. Ah, no one's at the bento. Do, 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 do. I'll take deluxe bento box number four, please. Alright, guess not. Alright, so what... I need a dictionary to translate yeah, that. Where is my dictionary? Right here. Closed. Okie dokie. Alright, I think there's one more thing we can do here. No ticket, no entry. Fooey. Wait, did we ever call George? Or Bess? Oh boy. Hello? Hello? Nancy, how's it going? How's the expo going, George? It's crazy. I've never seen so many clever people in one space. I'm definitely dealing with a little bit of that small fish, large pond anxiety. I'm still trying to get tickets for you, but it's not looking yeah. good. That's okay. Thanks for trying. And I'm not going to use this because we are on junior mode and I I'll talk know to you later. the game pretty well. Bye, Nancy. <laughs> Alright, so best George and Nancy. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh wait, no, I do remember now. Okay, never mind. All right, so we've got Check. that. Oh, that's right. I did say I was going to solve the renogram off cam off camera, but I think I might as well show you guys how it's done. Even though we're not technically needing the renogram at any point in the entire game, but it is fun to play. It's just really confusing for me because there's so many multiple ways. I'm not an abstract thinker, so this frustrates me. Uh, let's actually do. You can right click to let to let it go. Right click. There we go. Awesome. Just wanted to show you guys. All right. Uh, 55. 54. Um. So you know what? Let's bring up this here. Yes. 
And that way I can put 29 there. Uh, um, what? How did, what, how did that happen? I didn't even click. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, okay, 32 here. 35 goes there. 36, 37. Okay. 39, 40. Alright. And 21. 32. I guess... Um... Shoot! Um... Shoot! I messed up! Can I... No. How do I do this? <laughs> I messed up somewhere. No, I messed up over here somewhere. And I also messed up here. Because we need to have 29 to 32 to reach all the way over here. So 29, 30, 31, 32. How do I do this? Maybe I need to have that there. Um... Oh, no, 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 right there is fine, right there is fine, because that way I can put 25 here, 29, 30, 31, there we go, okay, we got it, we got it, all right, and now, let's see, 25, 20, uh, where's 24, 24 is... Right there. Oh! 23. Ah, man! Gosh dang it, I messed up again! On the road again! Sing it with me, Shrek! Um. Battle Duddles! Wait, what if I did this? Would that work? I think that would. Cause then I could do this. 22. That way. 7, 8, 9, 10. That works! Uh, where's 40? 41? 42? Uh, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. I did Yay! it! Yay! Awesome! That took quite some time. Alright, so do we have... No, we don't. Alright, let's go back to Misawa. That way... I wonder, what day is it? Because if I remember correctly, we have to wait a day in order to go into the baths. Yeah, we need to go to sleep then. What time is it? 10.17? Yeah. Because the elderly woman... I forgot her name. Uh, have we graded papers yet? Yes, because I was making fun of the... Alright. Okay. Let's go to sweep then. Boink. And... They, uh... Day 9 and his friends were also talking about the time schedule. How it didn't make sense. I mean, the other Sean, Sean Bouchard, he was trying to... He actually somewhat understood it. Saying that, and this is this is what I'm saying, and I'm actually agreeing with Sean Bouchard with this because it's absolutely true, is that it's not just an alarm for her to wake up because, well, you'll see. Also, you can only do it after you can only set the alarm for after 7 p.m. or you can uh, wait until like I think it was 4:30, and then Nancy will just automatically go to sleep. 
you, no word from you at all. No choice in the matter. All right. So this is what happens. Oh, I almost forgot. Creepy. Creepy. What was that? Maybe it was a shadow puppet? Oh Nancy. no, the screen tour. I better tell Mawako about this tomorrow. Yeah, Nancy's not very good at pronouncing foreign languages. It must have just been my imagination. I should try to get some more sleep. Yeah, maybe. And here comes daytime. She starts teaching the class. And then once that class is over, she returns to... Yep. So what Sha Sean's theory is that, which I totally agree on, is that the alarm isn't just for her waking up. It's for her to... Uh, it's for her to know when to stop being the responsible Nancy for, like... I forgot how he worded it. But it was along the lines of Nancy taking this case seriously and... Oh. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi, Nancy. What was the name of the place you're staying at again? The Ryokan Hie. Told you. Guess you're right. What are you two talking about? We met this girl at a bento booth at the expo, and she grew up at the Ryokan you're staying at. Pretty crazy coincidence. Is her name Yumi? That's the one. You've got to get down here and meet her. She's so much fun. She told us all about everyone at the Ryokan, and it sounds like you've got your hands full. I should come to meet her. I have a few questions. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I know that tone. Uh oh what? I know that tone of voice. What tone of voice? Yep, that's the one. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're working a case, aren't Maybe. you? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know exactly what is going on at the Ryokan, but it's really strange. Busted. <laughs> okay, you got me. I may have found a mystery. Shocking. So, what can we do for you? Yeah, what's going on? Well... I saw something really strange in my room. What? A shadowy figure showed up in my room, but when I looked out on the balcony, no one was there. It was like whoever it was just disappeared. Yikes. Creepy. Okay, that's it. We're leaving Japan. <laughs> I'm sure there is a logical explanation. Me too. I'm just not sure what it is yet. The two of you, I swear, if we were being chased by a dinosaur, you two would be too busy debating about the fossil record to run away. Where's your sense of panic? Relax, It was Bess. pretty scary, I admit. But I don't believe that someone could just disappear. Right. Well, you said a shadow figure, right? Maybe it was some sort of trick of the light. That's what I was thinking. I'll keep an eye out for something like that. Spooky. Anything else? I'll stop bugging you now. Talk to you later. In all honesty, like, any sort of game, including the Nancy Drew game series, like, you could make a drinking game out of them. <laughs> and that's basically what Mostly Walking is. They, when they drink their alcoholic beverages, like, they actually choose a word in the game where they would have to take a drink of their choice. And it's just so hilarious, because, like, half the time they don't do it. Hi! Do you believe that the Ryokan is haunted? I don't believe that anything is haunted. Ghosts uh, are just what happens when guilty people let their imaginations run wild. In a way, it kind of does, yeah. I guess so. Think about it. Why do ghosts always want revenge? Not always. They're what people invent when they feel guilty. If that wasn't the case, then ghosts would want all sorts of things. But no, they always want Revenge. Again, not always. I've seen Ghost Adventures. I finished up the Renegrams puzzle. Great! I knew you would! Don't tell the other puzzles, but this is my favorite. Yeah. Do you know what's scaring the guests away? City superstitions. I don't get it. We have ghost hunters who come here to find ghosts, and if they think they've found something, they get all panicked and run away. 
Let me guess, you've only I'm had one. I'm done with another Renograms puzzle. Here you go. Yeah, more Renograms. Is that the portrait from the lobby? Yeah, I'm reframing it. Although it's way harder to do than I thought it would be. I bet. It's got a really strange backing. Would you like some help? Have at it. This thing is officially making me nuts. The tools you'll need are near the frame. Thank you. It looks like I need to find a way to make sure none of the wires are crossing. Alright guys. Just to let you know, this is far simpler than the senior detective pu puzzle of this. The junior detective, the lines are actually highlighted. In senior detective, there are a lot more wires and they're not highlighted when you pick them up. Because, <laughs> like, one of the things that I love about Mostly Walking is that when Sean, the Day 9 TV guy, when he is concentrated on a puzzle, his, his two friends make up for the silent time and just do random talking. Okay, so here what you want to do is you want to make sure that there are no lines crossing at all. So right now, I am just like trying to figure out... I guess what would help is to make sure that the one with the most lines are... Or sorry, with the most wires is in the middle. It somewhat helps. Uh, okay, so that goes there. You do doink. Let's do this here. Okay. Alright. Oh, I did not see that. Okay, there we go. Um. There. Um. Okay. What if we did this? There. Um. And there. I got the backing off awesome. the portrait. Nice job. Awesome. And now we just need to bend these little things so we can get the thing off and... Maybe he should have the sense to know what is a family matter. I have to get back to work now. Ah. And it wasn't his fault anyways. He was fixing the portrait. I should get to work now. No!